Hello everybody, it's Monday morning and it's blinking freezing. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely changing now. Um, it's getting darker at night and um, yes, the heating has been switched on. Won't deny it. <laughs> right, I need to clear something up. I think I may have come across as a little bit aggressive in my video from last Monday and I was accused of being homophobic, which <laughs> I think is a bit ridiculous seeing as I'm gay myself, but there you go. Um, and I think it was because I said that I was fed up with seeing all these LGBTQ comments on Twitter. What I meant to say, and now I've got a bit more time to talk about it, what I meant to say is it always seems like the younger gay community have something to complain about all the time. Well, guys and gals, you should have tried living in the 1980s. When it was a heck of a lot worse, we had constant homophobia, we had HIV and AIDS to contend with, which was fresh and new back in the 80s, and we battled to get what you've got now. So, you don't really have any cause to complain or moan about anything. There, I'm off my soapbox now, I've said it. So anyway, how are we doing? Are you all waving hello to the second wave? I know I am. I mean, I've been talking about it for long enough. <laughs> I downloaded the NHS Track and Trace app onto my phone on Thursday. Set it all up. And you don't, well, there's not a lot of setting up to do, really. You just need to put your postcode in and it'll give you an idea of what it's like in your particular area. So I put my postcode in and guess what? High risk for my area which doesn't really come as any great surprise to be honest with you um so what i've decided to do is i'm going to hibernate now um so um this will be the last video you'll see with me till um probably in 2021 because i will be completely hiding myself away and sleeping until after christmas that was a joke by the way <laughs> Um, no, um, I think we've all got to be prepared for a possible full complete lockdown again, I reckon. Um, I can't really see it going in it any other way, but I think this time it will be different because at least we know something about it. At least we are a bit more prepared. Um, so I know for me personally, it won't be me isolating myself and not daring to go outside because I know that I can go outside as long as I wear my mask and sanitize and wash my hands, etc. We know what we have to do. It's as simple as that. It's not rocket science. So if we all keep doing what we have to do, fingers crossed, we should be rid of this sooner or later. I'd like to give a time scale on that, but honestly, I really, really can't. So. Um, apart from that, um, yeah, I had a good week last week, incredibly busy. Um, I'm not particularly looking forward to this week because it's financial month end and we are a little bit under the cosh. But, uh, you know, as a team, we will work through it as we always do. Um, last Friday's radio show was brilliant and I don't like blowing my own trumpet, but um, I always listen to it um, as a listener, as opposed to a presenter and last friday's was on the point i have to say loved it loved it loved it and long may that continue so what have you got planned for this week whatever you've got planned please 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 be careful because um i want to see you all watching my videos next week and the week after and the week after so whatever you've got planned take care of yourselves have fun and I will see you for another video. And watch out for the first part of 24 Hours with Anne and Colin, which is I had a little bit of a hiccup, so it's got a bit delayed. But I will be getting that out very, very soon of that. I can promise you. So that's it for me. Have a good week and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye bye.